Yo, what's cracking everybody? It's Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna exchange these for one of these. Yes, we're gonna learn some coin magic today, but we're gonna learn five ways to vanish a coin. So if you'd love to support this channel, subscribe, hit the like button as well. It does help out a lot and it goes a long way. So let's go. All right, now the French drop is a coin move that's been around for a very, very long time. So I in no way invented this move. However, I think I'm a little bit qualified to teach it. So here's what it looks like from behind the scenes. You wanna hold the coin with your pointer finger and also your thumb in that manner right there. Now you need to keep your fingers all together because essentially what's gonna happen is that coin's just gonna fall backwards and that's all it is. And so when you bring the hands over, that coin just drops like so, and then you show your hand empty. Now I'll do it at full speed and then I'll take you step by step how to do it. And so you show the coin like this, you grab it and you show that empty. Now you don't wanna keep your hand like this, that looks <laughs> a little bit weird. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep it in that position there, keep your hand kind of on an angle you don't want to keep it flat like that because when the coin drops, you want to be able to cover the coin from behind. So you keep it in that position. As you bring the hands over, this is the most important thing and the worst thing I've seen on some tutorials is that you bring the hand over like this. Less is more with this move. So the less you cover it up, so you want to use maybe these two fingers here and your pointer finger. So the less you cover it, the better it looks, like that. So you have it in that position there, you bring these fingers over. So you just wanna do the motion of pinching the coin. You don't wanna be grabbing the coin, you just wanna pinch it. Because if you pinch it, it looks a lot better. So here, hands come over, you pinch the coin, the right hand goes down straight away, and you show the coin is gone, like so. So from here, comes over, drop, boom. Now, there's a few things you can do with the coin. Once you've dropped it into your hand, you can either do finger palm, like so, and just drop your hands relaxed, or you can put it into classic palm. Now, this move's a little bit harder, okay? But I would recommend just dropping it, holding it in finger palm, like so, and boom. Now let's look at it from the front. So the French drop from the front, this is what it looks like. Remember to keep your hand on an angle and you're just pinching the coin like so. And then this hand drops down and then you show your hand empty. Now remember, you're only pinching it. You're not gonna grab it, okay? Less is more. So if you just come up and just grab it like so, little pinch and it's gone. And it's all timing here. So there, there, gone. So you hold the coin on an angle, you pinch it, it's dropped. At the same time, you turn your hand and come down. And that's the French drop. Now this false transfer is actually a really simple vanish. And what you wanna to do to start off is you wanna condition the audience. And what I mean by that is you wanna to toss the coin and in their mind subconsciously, they can see the coin going from side to side. Now you don't do it forever because that looks a bit stupid. So what you wanna do is you wanna go one, two, and on the third time over, you wanna throw it into the hand. But what you've done is on the toss, you're gonna to put your thumb on the coin and pretend like it goes into the hand. So it's all about timing. So you hold the coin like so, as you go and toss it, one, two, on the third go, put your thumb there, close your hand at the same time, and put it into finger palm and relax, like so. All right, so at full speed, one, two, three, finger palm, coin, vanishes. Now let's take a look at that from the front. Now the false transfer is actually self-explanatory. It's probably the easiest vanish you can do. Now remember you gotta condition them. So one, two, three, hand down, squeeze the coin, and it's gone. So remember, you gotta to toss the coin. You can toss it more, but just don't do it too much. So one, two, three, and it vanishes. Now remember to put your finger, or sorry, your thumb on the coin as you go down. 
So do it on the way down like so. So one, two, three. And just relax your hand, you don't have to go like that. See how it looks a bit stiff? One, two, three. And it's just, just relax. So you've got the point and finger palm there. One, two, three. That's it. And it's gone. Now this coin vanish, um, I am 99% sure that I didn't make it up. But I've been doing it for a really long time. It looks really simple and really cool. Um, but I think I may have seen a few tutorials on it. But I've been doing this for a really long time and I think you can enjoy it. It's quite simple. All you're doing is you're going to toss the coin into the hand once like so. And then when you do it the second time, your fingers are going to catch it. So as you go and toss, your fingers extend and catch it into finger palm and then relax. And then you show the coin is gone. So at full speed, you toss it once to condition them. Second time, boom. Give it a little squeeze. That's obviously in finger palm and it will go so what you want to do is hold it with your thumb and your pointer finger and at, you want to toss it once so that's the conditioning so just throw it like so and then on the second time when you throw it you extend your fingers out to catch it so boom like so and then you put it into finger palm so one and then two and then you give it a squeeze this hand obviously relaxes and then it goes so basically you're holding it there so with your thumb and your pointer finger you drop it once remember to condition your audience and then as you drop it the second time these fingers are extended and it drops onto there okay but you've got to do it as you're closing your hand so like so boom so condition them once and then you do it again drop your hand and it's gone Now the witch hand coin vanish is simply timing, that's all it is. Because if you get your timing wrong, you're going to whack the coin into your spectators. Hope you have insurance. So what you want to do is you want to flick it on its way down. Just as it hits your hand, you want to time your hand to come over in the motion to grab the coin. So if you watch this, you can see it kind of looks like you grab the coin, you show it's gone and it's in the other hand. And it's really cool to start off your coin routine because you can do, look, let's play a game. What hand is the coin in? Boom. There, and it's over here. So I thought the best way that you could learn this one is to watch it in slow motion. So check this out. Now I wanted to save the retention vanish till last because it is the most difficult vanish and if you're new to coin magic, just a little heads up, this move isn't easy, but I do encourage you to try and learn it. So if you're a move monkey like me, get your coin and let's try doing this thing. So I'm gonna do the move without my other hand so you can see what the technique is. So you wanna hold it in that position there and basically it's getting pulled with your thumb behind that finger right there. And so from here, to there so basically without the coin what's happening is your thumb is pulling the coin down and at the same time your pinky is coming inward so it's coming in like that and it's stopping it on the pinky and this finger here is palming the coin and so it looks like this in slow motion boom 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 down right there So the technique is this, you want to hold the coin so from the front it looks like you're pinching the coin so the support comes from the thumb. So hold it there, you want to hold the coin on your middle finger resting it there. The pointer finger holds the edge of the coin and the thumb goes behind. So you want to hold it in that manner right there. And from here you are going to pull the coin down and let the pinky stop the coin and at the same time palm it like so so in full speed you hold the coin like that and then pull it down 
So all it's doing is pulling it down like that. Most retention vanishes get pulled that way. This retention vanish, however, you are going to do that. So if you haven't got the technique yet, make sure you go back and watch it in slow motion. Do not expect to get this move straight away because it is quite difficult. So once you've got it, you want to put it into your palm and you want to put it between your thumb and your pointer finger. So once it's here and you curl over, you then put the coin into your palm and then you show the coin is completely gone. Now the real secret to creating the perfect looking retention vanish is to hold as little of the coin as possible. So you can see how I've got the coin at the edges here, but really from behind, I've got my thumb hidden, hence why you need a bigger coin. And so from the front, it looks like I'm just holding the edges. From behind, I've got the thumb, which is doing all the sneaky moves. So what you want to do is when you place it into the hand, you're actually going to place it between the thumb and the pointer finger. So you're gonna essentially place it right here so that when it covers, you can put the coin into the palm right here. So I'll do that again. So hold it here, hand goes up, you place it right there. As it's covered, you do the move and then pull the hand away and it's gone. Now you can keep your hand there if you want to with this move or you can put it to the side. It really doesn't matter because that still looks natural and putting it to your side is just the same. So from here, in, cover, do the move and it's gone. All right, everybody, you should all be coin masters by now. So if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments section which vanish you enjoyed the most. Make sure you hit that like button as well. It does support the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.